Hi, my name is Bugs. I was 3D printed to be unbreakable. I lasted 12 minutes. I've been melted, snapped, rebuilt, tested in ways plastic should never experience. This is not a toy story. This is a not a toy story. My creator is a YouTube content creator, like Mr. Beast, just without the success, or the budget, or the audience. Nobody knew his channel. He wanted that to change. That's when the experiment started. First, he built my brother, Phoenix. Phoenix was an excellent car for about five minutes. He printed the gears out of plastic. They explode. Nobody was surprised. So he learned, kind of. He decided to build me, stronger, smarter. A perfect balance of steel and plastic. The ultimate solution. And once I was assembled, he decided to test me. In his own way. First he strapped an old iPhone to my back. Yes, that. As you can see, he is not a professional racer either. So there I was, a precision tested machine, carrying a phone like a brick at full speed. There are dozens of ways to measure speed, accurate ones, reliable ones, ones professionals use. He chose the least accurate option available. The extra weight slowed me down, but at least we learned one thing. I can flip very efficiently. Eventually he found a better solution. He measured a parking slot, recorded my runs on the video, did the mess. 32 km per hour from the two best runs. I think I can do better, but honestly, if it works for him, I am happy. Next he decided to test my endurance, again in his own way. This time, for reasons known only to him, he put me in tall grass and drove me for 10 long minutes. Guess what happened? Don't bother. He added a bumper shaped like a plow. Then expected me to race like a Formula One car through the grass with resistance. A lot of resistance. So once again I returned to the workshop. He forgot one small detail. Cooling. After a few minutes, my motor overheated and plastic gear slipped off the shaft. What a surprise! After a while, he added ventilation holes to my body. Problem solved. At least he thought it was solved. Being naive is one of his strong sides. Then he decided to test me again, this time on asphalt. He drove me casually for 20 minutes. I tried my best, but passive ventilation can only do so much.
My motor reached critical temperature and once again the gear slipped off the shaft. Again. At this point I truly hope that he understood something important. That low airflow doesn't count as cooling, especially when endurance is the goal. Eventually he did the unthinkable. He bought fans. Real ones. He integrated a proper cooling system. And for the first time in my life things actually worked. That was actually good. The next day he went back to the same parking lot. This time I drove like a maniac for 30 full minutes. That was already better than all the previous attempts. So he decided to push a little more. A few speed runs. And oh, that felt brilliant. I crossed the parking lot in 0.267 seconds. That works out to 35 km per hour. My creator didn't expect winter to arrive so soon. In Canada, in December. He really should have. Luckily, I was ready for snow. Honestly, that part was fun, until the melting snow found its way inside. Turns out I'm not waterproof. The speed controller didn't survive. Luckily, the fix was simple. A small change to my front cover, one head, problem solved. And just like that, the issue was gone. That was the first part of my story. Looking back at all these tests, my life isn't that miserable. I had a few flaws, all of them were fixable. And somewhere along the way, my creator and I became friends. But we are not done yet. There will be more tests, more improvements, and definitely more fun. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.